Alright, so I changed it to um, 30 FPS, and it seems to be doing much better already. Um, yeah, unfortunately. I can't really be helped, though, because Lappy's not the best right now. Um, if only... <laughs> yeah, as Isaac would say, just don't be poor. <laughs> Forehead. Alright. Alright, the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. One task must be performed before challenging its depths. Uh, we already know this, so... Don't hesitate and go into the lush green forest. Hooray! Yeah, there will be a lag over and stuff like this, but the fact that it was kind of lagging already in the... When right away, when we entered right away, was uh, kind of not fun. <laughs> Alright, so this is what the battle screen looks like. We have all the good old sprite work going on over here. Um, so yeah, they do have the sprites ripped on uh, websites, but obviously don't look at that if you don't want to be spoiled. So we got tree rats. They're not very strong. Pretty much the weakest enemy in the game. Okay. And I don't need bravery for that right now. Oh! I, did, I forgot to equip my stuff! Well then. <laughs> they kind of look like Ratatas, definitely. Hey! First crit in the game! Heck yeah, boys! Um, so you don't get um, money dropped from enemies in the game. Um, you have to sell their loot. Um, it has double the benefit of one, getting money, and two, unlocking new stuff. Um, so yeah, nice handy dandy little screen, um, and if you have any characters that die, they don't get any experience, obviously. And when you discover new things, there'll be a little window that tells you, hey, you found new stuff. Cool. Alright, so I wanted Sunny to have that. I wanted me to have a shield. Um, and then Heath gets a bow, Sabaka has a staff so he can do better healing, I don't think I got Toby anything, yeah, so we'll, we'll have to deal with this for right now. Um, I wasn't really sure on whether or not I wanted to get other, um, stuff right now. Alright, no need to explore virgin territory yet. First seek the soldier! I forgot, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Haha, <laughs> no worries. Don't worry about it. As you walk the narrow path, greenery all around, you see a soldier standing guard. You must be the new guys. The Rada told me you'd be along. Welcome to the forest. I don't... <laughs> what even is this voice, anyway? Um, I guess I'll do what Bolt had. A few questions for the soldier spring to mind, but you wonder if you shouldn't let him be. Ask him what he's doing here. The soldier answers your question slowly. My orders are to make sure no one, you for example, gets in the forest without permission. <laughs> if you want in, start the way everyone does. Make a map of the floor, of the floor we're on. As I'm sure they told you back at the Rada, everybody goes through this initiation. With that, the soldier points to the map of the forest you hold in your hands. In this game, you must draw your own map on the lower screen. Yeah, do your best to recreate it. Um, the, the game will not do it for you uh, unless you're playing the untold versions. Uh, and I think 5 and Nexus, in which you have the option to have it automatically done for you if you are lazy or you, you're kind of pressed for time, whichever way. So yeah, draw, race, rolls, icons. Yes, I know. This area inside the red border shows where you've got a map. Finish that part and see me. So yeah, right over here. Uh, ask about the labyrinth. The soldier looks around him once before answering. We call this the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. It's a pretty strange place. The ecology here is completely different than the one in the world above where we live. It goes down so deep that no one has ever seen the lowest stratum. If you plan on exploring down there, then make sure your guard is up at all times. His speech delivered, the soldier loses interest in you and returns to his post. You hesitate whether to ask him another question or let the matter drop. You decide to leave the soldier alone. Alright, so... This one kind of leads to a dead end, but... <laughs> so bad! 
<laughs> I actually am not- I'm not even using- I don't think I was using Topes' uh, gumshoe voice. If only, though. I remember, uh, someone- there was a Let's Play that I saw and someone uh, had gumshoe as Nappa. <laughs> For whatever reason. Um, okay, so these aren't like that tough enemies, so I'm just gonna. And if you hold the A button while this the battle message goes, you'll make it go faster. In later games, you can have it go to like incredibly insane speeds. go. <laughs> yeah, he, he also did a friggin' uh, had Edgeworth as Vegeta, too. <laughs> or as uh, this guy liked to call it, Vegedgeworth. Um, let's see, what was this one? <laughs> While walking through the forest, you find something furry at the trail's end. Initially thinking a creature, you lower your guard upon realizing it's a boot. Could it belong to an adventurer? You weigh the options of picking up the dirty boot or leaving it where it lies. Look around. You thoroughly inspect the area around the boot. A close look reveals torn clothes and reddish stains on the ground. I don't know. I don't think I can. But yeah, uh... I don't know. I don't know about this one, guys. The signs point to dangerous beasts lurking nearby. Eyeing the boot, you wonder whether picking it up is worth whatever danger is in store. No, <laughs> because I've got a guy in the red right now. You decide to leave the boot and ignore this place. Wait. Okay, yeah. So, obviously this is a friggin' ambush. So let's try... <laughs> And if it's what I think it is, because I actually didn't uh, activate this, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a trio of uh, pretty not fun uh, first floor monsters. So let's just kind of go our own way this way for right now. It's so weird going back to the first game and even the second game after <laughs> after you've gone through friggin' Nexus. I actually haven't played Nexus in a very long while, um, just because like there have been times when I try and take it like 3DS out of sleep and it just doesn't do that. <laughs> Oh yes, thank you, thank you, Claw. That that I forgot to mention that. That's my fault. Um, so yeah, if it's blue, um, you're not in any danger right now. If you're yellow, it's close but not quite there yet. Uh, and red is basically just get ready to fight. And uh, before you ask, yes, I am drawing the map with my <laughs> tablet. <laughs> Don't judge me, it's fun. I like it. It's nice and fun. So yeah, I'll show bravery and how that goes. Um, oh, so... <laughs> yeah! Yeah, if once I get a capture card, I'll be able to show that off. Because um, I know that running it through an Emmy actually like causes major, major problems. Um, so what I forgot to mention, uh, what makes Immunize, like, so broken is because, technically speaking, every single, almost every single attack has an element tied to it. So all these physical attacks, um, they're categorized as, um, cut, bash, or pierce. Or not pierce, but stab. Um, so bows, um, would be... Uh, stab, swords would be slash, would be cut, slash, um, and then saves would be bash. Um, so because the game code kind of like had them as elements on their own, it basically just like had them immunize, be effective 
in defending against all of those attacks. Um, I think there there is a type called Almighty, but I don't remember if it's in the first game or not. Um, so yeah, if you have Immunize and you have a boosted Immunize, uh, which I'll go over later once... Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Um, but yeah, once I get to that point, um, I'll be able to show you, like, um, I'll explain a little bit about boost. Um, and it does make a return in the... F I think in both, in both the Untold games. Ooh, three wood flies. I'm so scared. Actually, you know what, maybe... <laughs> maybe I will be a little bit scared because they did deal seven damage that one time. Um... Oh, you know what? I do have Sabato over here, so let's do a little healing. Hey, now. Hey. Thank you. And then cure on me and keep. Um, so Woodflies do have this uh, Whirl ability that will bind your head. Um, so with, ooh, so with Tobes and Spock, I'd be a little bit concerned over. So that was pretty good. Let's go with this. So how's the audio balancing now? Um, ooh, hey, level up, cool. All right, got a bug wing, Nito. Audio balance is good. Thank you. Okay, so let's go. I freaking forgot. Oh man. All right, I guess I'll have to. Hmm. up, and obviously two hit. All right. I'm really hesitant to friggin' even do, like, sword skills that aren't <laughs> all slash and stuff like that because, uh, you don't have a way to reset your skills except for retiring your character, and you can only do that over a certain level because in this game you don't have a way to, like, basically... Do you? I don't believe so, but I thought, as far as I know, that you don't have a way to reset your skills. <laughs> yeah, that is true, but... And also, like, you know, Emmy Awards and whatnot. Oh. Blood pressure, oh jeez. Oh, my bro's okay. Alright, um... So I guess I'll do swords again. And shields, maybe... I know, I, I'm, I'm definitely overthinking this, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting stuff done right. Oh, you know what? No, boast. Gotta go boast. Alright. Down. Alright, let's go down here. While walking through the narrow trail, you find a trickle of water near the end. 
The clear, cool water seems extremely tempting after your arduous hike. You hesitate, unsure whether to stake your thirst or to... or to... S slake? Whether to slake your thirst or to pass by the water. What will you do? Put your hand in water. You reach out and put your hand into the spring water flowing through the rocks. The icy water cools your heated skin. You wonder whether you should take a sip or leave without taking action. Alright. Um, so basically what this does is... Well, I guess I can... Well, I mean, it's not going to really do anything. <laughs> Uh, take a sip of water. Cupping your hands in the stream, you bring a sip of water to your lips. The clear, cold water quenches your thirst. Um, so what would happen is at nighttime, um, this water restores your TP, but obviously since it's not nighttime, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, feeling much better after drinking the spring water, you decide to move on. Uh, no, it's a totally Poland spring. Oh boy, this guy. Oh! <laughs> okay, good. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you can uh, basically ambush an enemy or be ambushed yourself. Fun times. But yeah, um... Maybe when I'm like level 3 or something, I'll show... <laughs> I'll show what, the, what happens when you try and get the boot. So yeah, you encountered a mole. Moles are not your friends on this floor. Let's see. Oh, this just brings you back here? Oh. I guess I forgot about that. I seem to have forgotten quite a number of things with this game. Maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I'll boot up my, old, my regular one and just kind of look through the map again. <laughs> the question is, which RPG maker? <laughs> they have like 15 of them now, don't they? Or 15 iterations of it? Alright, so we've got this over here. Let's oh, go down. Uh-oh. Oh no, three wood flies. Except I don't have all slash, so that kind of makes me tough. So yeah, front guard and back guard will uh, right now take, like, reduce some of the damage, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I think with the first levels, it's kind of hard to, like, figure what you want. Like, or, I, I, I don't know. I guess unless you know what you want, then if you're kind of being like me and like, Oh, I, I, I need this, and I need this, and I need this, and I need this. Um, then it's going to be pretty friggin' tough trying to get skills that you want, you know. Um, Alright, so let's do that, and let's do that. And then let's map this puppy. But not actually draw a puppy, because I don't know how to do that with this limited technology. Or this mapping tool, rather. Alright, so we got a four-way. And this should lead to... Yeah, lock door. Oh no, more wood flies. Whatever shall I do? I mean, hopefully, uh, now that I have an Ethernet attached to this laptop, um, it will be a little bit better. <laughs> like, I'm hoping this comes in, like, kind of smooth for you guys, even with the 30 FPS nonsense going on. I'm sure Tobes would have a fit right now about it. <laughs> it's like, why is this, why is Bloodborne only in 30 FPS? This is, this is bad. Okay, good. Um, okay, so let's see. A mysterious crystal entwined with ivy blocks your path. It seems you cannot proceed. 
So yeah, later on you will get a certain crystal that will enable you to get through this door. So this is five. Violet. <laughs> Vi cat. You, you, you. I can't spell. Uh, okay. Oh, this leads to... I want to go to the shortcut, because there are shortcuts in the game. Even though, I kid you not, they have, like, uh, for, for whatever reason, they didn't have arrows in the first game. Uh, but in the second game, there was. And to everybody's uh, Im immense joy and jubilation, it's very wild. <laughs> so, uh... If you're like me, you would use stairs to denote whether something is left, right, up, or down. <laughs> it's- it probably be- okay, so here's, um, what boost does. Boost will, um, basically bump up your skill levels by, I believe, five in this game? I think in Untold, you, like, can have it boosted, like, have the boost be up in increments, like, as you go along or something like that. I remember like you could get a full boost right away. Or at least maybe that's how I understood it, but I'm not sure. Okie dokie, sounds good. Um so yeah. Um so I'll just do front guard. And so you'd have a uh, front guard boosted to like level six or I think it was seven actually. I think I had it at level two. Um Okay, so what was this one? As you continue down the path, you find red fruit growing along the wall of trees. Oh, right, this one, okay. It hangs just within reach, seemingly daring you to pluck it and take a bite. You consider for a moment whether or not to eat the fruit. Eat the rare fruit? Sure! The fruit's sweet juice has slid down Sunny's throat. Sunny recovered 10 HP. Well, there you go. Good thing I didn't say, uh, didn't he, uh, heal up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh boy. Now I kind of regret not having an alchemist with me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, these are claw books. Obviously, from the looks of things, they have high uh, physical defense, so unless you had an alchemist, um, you would kind of be in a little bit of trouble, but I do have bravery, so that might help. Um, if worse comes to worse, though, I'll just run away. I'm gonna run away. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <sighs> well, first death in this friggin' run. All right, so here is a chop spot. Um, so this won't have a whole like you know all that much of uh, return on stuff that you sell from it, but it will like at least give you some money. Um. All right, I'm just gonna go. Uh, so for shortcuts, I would just I used to use that. Or actually, you know what? No, that's for one ways. Um, as you walk through the forest, a wall of trees blocks your progress. Continue forth. Yeah. And so now you can go back and forth at your leisure. So I'll so I use warp to go between those points. Uh, I'm going back <laughs> into town later, hackers. Uh, okay. Dr. Hoffman, heal me, please. All patched up now. And you don't get healed all the way, so... Womp womp. Get some medicas. And sell my stuff. Oh, I should... Yeah. So it's not obvious until either the second or third game, but there 
is like a, or actually maybe not even until the fourth game. Um, but for certain items and whatnot, um, some of them have a limited kind of stock, depending on how much of certain items you sell. Um, so after like you buy enough of them, they won't be able to be purchased again until you get more, obviously. Um, so let's try and get some armor for my guys. So you can only have like one of uh, one of a helmet, one of a glove, one of uh, armor. But in the first game, and I think the second game, you're not limited by how much accessories you have. Um, and Sabaka can have gloves. Oh, I didn't get one for Heath. Oops. Let's fix that. take a nap. Oh, it's six o'clock. Oh, it's later games that do it at seven, I believe. Or maybe I'm just losing my mind and I'm thinking about something else. Uh, and later on, um, when you rest up at the end, the game will automatically either, either automatically save for you or ask if you want to save. So that's kind of handy. And as you can see, stuff will change uh, depending on daytime or nighttime, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so let's go back. Yeah, each floor has their own little, like, kind of blurb. So here you have the first hope-filled step and other stuff. Um, there's one like later floors that's like basically saying like, hey, we're massive pain in the butt. Deal with it. <laughs> because the floors uh, gimmick is really wild. Alright, let's, let's freaking try this. I might have to reload! Thinking of completing this game on stream? Oh. To give you an idea, I have the physical copy and I'm still not done with it because there's still one item that I have not been able to get yet. Um, it's an item that is a really rare drop. I boosted my luck, the luck of my party to pretty big levels, and I still have not gotten it to drop. It's from one of the more challenging super, like, side super bosses, so to speak. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, the buffs are not cumulative. Um, for, like, if you, well, for the same skill that you use, it's not cumulative, so if you use it again, the only thing you're doing is just either A, wasting your TP, or in some games, just expanding how long it lasts. Um, and in this game, you kind of don't really get an idea on how long it goes, unless you like go in your... Um... Actually, I don't even know if the custom screen actually shows it, but anyway. Um, let's go here. Ah, frick me. Heck. Oh, run away. Run away. Alright, well, I guess I'll... guess I'll friggin' run from everything, then.
So yeah, you basically like beat the game once you have everything documented, all the items that you can get, all the monsters that you can get. This one is you step into a dead end of the forest edge, covered with brush and brambles. An old rucksack, seemingly abandoned by a past explorer, is lying at your feet. Pick it up? Sure! You appear inside the rucksack and find a number of coins inside. Whoa, you mind me. Neato. Um. Now, nah, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll mark it. N or Entel is basically the currency of this game series. It's kind of like how Gil is for Final Fantasy. No, I refuse. Go away. Okay. Uh, as you. Oh. As you walk, you reach a clearing filled with blooming flowers. Um, so these little sparkles over here, they denote item uh, gathering points. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much like, if you see one, just pretty much just put that icon on the map. As you walk, you reach a clearing filled with blooming flowers. The nameless flowers sway in the wind, and you catch the scent of their fragrance. You contemplate whether to rest and enjoy the sweet smell, or leave immediately. Rest them on the flowers? Sure. You decide to relax in the fragrant clearing. However, you aren't the only creature in the forest lured by the sweet floral scent. Before you react, a pack of wood flies swarm around you. Wood flies? Nay, these are the extremely poisonous breed known as venom flies! <gasps> Knowing that escape is futile, you brandish your weapon to prepare for battle. Oh no! Uh, so these don't show up until, uh, I believe one or two floors later, <laughs> so I already know about this, so I did it anyway because, um, I might as, like, if I don't even get out here, um, I might as well just get my map saved. And obviously they can poison. Fun for all. Much fun for one, though. And once you frontliner is dead, then your back party automatically switches to the front. This is how you don't play Etrian Odyssey. <laughs> Ooh, I killed one. Ooh, amazing. Everybody dead. Oopsie. Saver map data? Yeah! So at least it's handy that when you die, you get that to happen. <laughs> that way you'll know for next time. Maybe this is a morphic genetic field moment. I know two of you are in here and are not gonna or are not gonna know what the frick I'm talking about. That's fine. <laughs> For more details, please refer to Toby's um uh 999 uh let's play <laughs> or stream vods rather. All right. I don't know if he's gonna count this against me. We'll see. Oh yeah, I remember that the first game they don't differentiate the stratum screens. Okay. Wait. Oh, right. No, I'm not there yet. Okay. As you stride through the forest, you meet the sh soldier still guarding his post. Once he notices your presence, he hails you cheerfully. Got your, uh, got your map all in order, have you? In that case, you've got my permission to proceed. Welcome back, Claw. Uh, I showed them the triple venom fly ambush spot, aka the clearing. The soldier stands to one side and waves you through, as if passing the torch to you. You ought to report your success to the Rada, but the thought of going deeper is also tempting. Yeah! <laughs> so that's what happens when uh, you're not entirely careful. Uh, so this is a white crystal door. Or is it clear? I think clear. 
Yep, same message as that one. Alright. So we might as well go back. No. 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 Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, you know I did I did forget to get the uh, freaking um uh, all over here. Oh well. And this is also a chop spot and it's basically the same one as uh over here. <laughs> so that's pretty much nothing. Okay, Rada. Rada Rada. We've received word from our soldier that you've completed your map. Well done! We acknowledge and recognize your status as true explorers from this point on. You belong to the Adopted Guild, correct? Let me give you the standard reward. Take this to Shalaka's Goods. She'll sell you items necessary for your adventures. Stock up there and work hard to explore the labyrinth for us from here on out. Rod a note! Obtain 500 monies. So let's report our stuff. Tree rat, oh, wood fly. Woo! Oh yeah, it'll also show you like if you have all the drops that you can get from them or not. It's pretty cool. Um, although it doesn't show their weaknesses and whatnot like they would do in later games. I I don't remember if it's the third game or the fourth game that they start doing that. I wouldn't doubt that'd be fourth, though. Not a lot of quality of life stuff, especially considering it was a 3DS game. Uh, so yeah, you got quite a long list over here. And obviously the item compendium is a little bit longer. And it'll show you how much the thing's worth. Hooray! And I believe this one is something that's like pretty much worthless, so... I see you reported a few of the things you found inside the forest. As I say, even oaks grow from small acorns. Everything must begin somewhere. I have high hopes that you'll one day solve all the forest mysteries. Yeah, that's true. I mean, for better or for worse. Like, some... I don't know. I think some things uh, don't really translate all that well into models. But... I don't know. I, 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 I would say, like, for better or for worse, like, the models are a pretty nice touch. Although there's uh, one boss in the fourth game, uh, you probably know which one I'm talking about, Claw, uh, that just shows how much of like a massive like body horror that that one boss has with that one certain phase at the end. It's very, very fun. Fun, fun. Rada. Yes. This is a warp wire. Uh, so in... It's... I don't remember what it's called in Japanese, but later on they would call it the Ariadne Thread, um, which has, like, a Greek mythology tie to it. So, I mean... Hey, you know. Uh, so yeah, warp wires are pretty handy. Um, in later games, they kind of... It's not as good as, like, some other features you have, like, uh, in... I believe both untold games uh, you have the floor jumping feature which basically if you can if you map the floor the floor enough uh, you'll be able to jump immediately to the stairs um, to that floor meanwhile in the first game and the second game the warp wire is your main ticket to getting back to town right away without having to go back to uh, sir the geomagnetic pool was a which is a checkpoint um, so yeah, <laughs> in this game they're they're pretty dang good. In later games, uh, I don't know. Some things are a little bit better, but I mean, then again, if you haven't like done the floor jumping unlocked for a certain floor, you won't be able to do jumping. So I guess in some ways it's nice, um, but you probably would just take one with you instead of like two, like I would, like some insane person. Yeah, that uh, like yeah. Pretty much what I did. <laughs> Pretty much what I said, but I do know there is a delay, so it's like, oops, sorry, I'm jumping the gun again. 
I seem to be doing that quite a bit uh, this past year with stuff like I say something and then the thing happens or someone else says it like right after. Uh, almost like that one time when we were doing that uh, watch and read ghost trick thing, Claw. Oh man. Alright. Take some. Yeah, like two. Uh, I think they're... Yeah, they're a hundred in. It's called a dagger, but it's a short sword. I'm not gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it. Nope. Uh, so I'll get a bow for Tobes. And... Oh, everyone can use this, sh this charge. Oops, I'm stupid. Uh, I'll get a couple boots. At least Toby will be able to use something. You are getting a boot! <laughs> because I want you to go a little bit faster so you can friggin' heal. Um, I, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't believe I leveled up uh, after I loaded. Always take a war fire, you'll never know what may happen. Always take two in the second game, because you definitely not, will not know what will happen if you don't have any prior knowledge. Um, so I'm gonna go and just try and get some levels in and get that, um, that money from that boot. Um... And then I'll probably, uh, also work on getting some gather- like, I'll get a gather party going. Get that all straightened out, sorted out. Yes, um, so yeah, at night time, either the formations will change, or you'll have a totally different, like, enemy that will only show up at night. Um, although I believe that's only the second game, or that only starts in the second game, uh, and then it goes on from there. But I don't believe it happens in the f first game with, like, new enemy with different enemies showing up. My, my memory of this is a little bit foggy, but... Do, do, do. I already read this. Coin! Oh, I forgot to mark this one. It's silly of me not to, because I do that before. But yes, Sabaka, I promise you, um, once we get to EO3, you will be a monk character. Get excited. I promise you. <laughs> I promise I will make you a monk. Don't worry. Of course, we'll have to get to that bridge first, but we'll get there. <sighs> I hate that I have to give freaking axes, even though they're useless. Uh... Although... Yeah, Stalker's pretty good, too. Um...
Yeah, I forgot. Multi-hit is pretty, pretty valuable. <laughs> that breeze. That breeze through the rocks. It rocks it's nice. Yeah, sorry again about the chat. I, I didn't realize it was uh, gonna look that low. I don't remember if they had a way for me to test out um, uh, the size of the font and whatnot, so I'll, I'll fix that for next time. sailing from here. I might go for that boot now, then. Yeah, spoiler alert, it's three moles. How are my TP wise? Not bad. It feels very odd to actually be streaming because back when I did LPs I didn't have the capacity to because my computer at the time was a little e-machines. Very bad, not very good at all. Haha, um, -ha, he missed. Um, so yeah. At least Sunny's doing a pretty good job with, uh, with the attacking in front of things. But then again, I also have bravery going on, so that also helps a lot. Oh no, Sabaka, you missed! Yeah, now that we have some decent weaponry, we actually are able to do some decent damage. Amazing how that works. <laughs> I never got this way yet. I'll get the moles first. Be gone, rat! Kill, murder. Goodbye, rat. Do, 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 do. Pick, yeah, pick it up. Pick it, pick a boot up. Pick a boot up. I'm not a coward. It's rather heavy due to the ivory colored stones its previous owner hid inside. Alright, this is where the white stone is. Okay. As you marvel at the stones, the ground be begins to shift unnaturally. The dreadful monsters who likely killed the boot's owner ambush you. Oh no! Oh no, it's moles! How unusual! Alright. Front guard, bravery, heal, attack. Sabaka, please! Thank you! Okay, and now you. Yeah, pretty much. You'd just be going at that like you would with the Venom Flies, even at my current level. Please. Thank you. <laughs> we do it. <laughs> I am very smart. Alright, let's head back to town. I'm not gonna waste a warp wire for this. I'm right there. Also, these are weak, so hey. But yeah, part of the reason why I have such a hard time- Oh, okay, bye! Um, but part of the reason why I have such a hard time with, uh, getting that one last item in this game, in my physical copy of it, 
is because you're I you have to go a long winding way just to get, even get to the boss in the first place. You don't have a shortcut to help you go straight to it from um, one floor, which would cut the time considerably by like maybe seven to ten minutes depending on how the encounters go or if you run into uh, any certain enemies. Uh, so it takes like about ten minutes to even get to the boss and then you have some time that you have to beat the boss and if you don't get the item it's like 15 days for for the boss to come back so like the boss is like respawn so once you kill it like unless it's certain story story bosses then they're gonna come back if, after a certain amount of time so if you miss something you're not gonna like miss on the drop and if it's a boss that doesn't respawn it's always a guaranteed drop but yeah it's friggin friggin frustrating <laughs> I've had this game for like 15 years or so, and I still don't have it. <laughs> Alright, so what was I gonna do? Ah, I was gonna sell crap. Bye. Uh, sell so this. I believe that's a mine, uh, so we'll be able to get more later. Bone axe. Useless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what you know which one I'm talking about, Claw? The one on uh 15, the one on 415. That side boss. You don't have to say the name just as long as you know. Um Ice, three heads. Scatter about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's much, much fun. It's very cool. Oh yeah, if I was able to get Caduceus right away, uh, I would have you uh, use this Sabaka for your front line. We'll go get to it when we cross that bridge. Uh, many bridges, in fact. Especially the one big one with those two. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just get a dagger for me, I guess. So I don't have to have these... Wacky wonky, weaky, weaky, bleaky attacks. Um, so there is uh, something we had just unlocked, Sabaka. Uh, it's called a Bone Staff. Uh, it's just like basically uh, attack plus five. If we could unlock Caduceus like right then, I would have you use that weapon. But Caduceus doesn't come until like attack level 10. And obviously, unless I, like, bum-rush to get it, you wouldn't be able to use it right away. <laughs> Alright, let's go to sleepy time. It's five and six? Man, I'm so glad they kind of streamlined it into, like, certain time a.m., certain time p.m. Gosh. <laughs> Bone staff's ready. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, and now that we have the Rada note, we can go here. Oh, hey, kiddos. Also, uh, my voice actress in the Untold version is a massive bench. Enjoy. You're the newly licensed adventurers I heard about from the Rada, aren't you? Here at the Golden Deer, I hear all sorts of problems that only adventurers can solve. Gathering materials, wiping out monsters, you name it, I hear someone sobbing about it. And when I do, I pass the requests on to kids like you. You're welcome to take them on. Adventurers can accept tasks known as quests here at the Golden Deer Pub. There are many types of quests, each with its own reward. Select accept quests from menu to see the details. Okay. 
All right, soft tide, and those are for moles. That stream, and oh, don't worry. I don't want. I don't know. I'll just accept them all. You can accept up to five quests at a time, I believe. Decided to take the request, have you? <clears throat> oh wait, I, that was a weird read. Sorry. Decided to take the request, have you? Good. I've been hoping someone would. This request is from an artisan right here in Atria. Hide goods are in high demand, and the supply is running low. You shouldn't have a problem getting some soft hides from the forest critters. Good luck! An ex-explorer, I guess you'd say, wants you to get some holy water from a forest spring. Supposedly, you can get some of this water deep within the east side of the first floor. Careful not to slip, okay? Shaleka's Goods is the only place in Atria to have weapons and armor. When her granddad ran the place, wait, GRANDDAD ran the place, he'd gather materials himself to make all kinds of stuff. But ever since she inherited the place, well, the kid tries, but it's not the same. Yeah, it's almost like almost any family-run business. She's got her hands full just running the shop, so she could use her hand. Could you help her? Go see her and ask her for s if there's anything in particular she's looking for. Hey, it's adopted! Pull up a chair, kiddos! You guys have the hand of navigating the labyrinth yet? I mean, I'm kind of a veteran, so... <laughs> I've, I've come from the future into the past. Don't worry about it. Listen, kids. I know you're eager for the fame and fortune, but don't get greedy. If you start to get tired, don't push yourselves. Come back here and rest a while. Um, so in the third game, you'd be able to talk to some people here that would visit from, like, certain floors they would show up and be able to talk about certain things and whatnot. So yeah, um, there's that. So it's kind of bare bones in this game, but hey, no worries. Um... Alright, so let's just go to Shalaka. Yep. Arsons made me a list. No, I got it. Hardwood and hard shells. I forgot about those! Uh. Heck. I freaking forgot. So yeah, hard shells are from those stupid bugs. Time to make an alchemist. Do I have this in the overlay? I don't believe so. I'll check. No. Darn it! Hey! Hooray! I'm so glad, Sabaka! You wanted to, you wanted to visit, um, Pax, right? Yeah, sorry, uh, forgive my, uh, water drinking noises. I have this giant, uh, water jug. <laughs> it's like, I think it's about, like, a gallon. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> oh no, so, but do you, like, have any other plans of what you want to do right now? Like, did you just want to, like... Didn't you say that you wanted to, like, visit Boston or something, or...? Like, as in, in general, but... I, I don't know, maybe you already have an... I'm... <laughs> Life's been going wacky-wonky for me a little lately, so... <laughs> Sorry for if I don't, like, get all the details, like, exactly remembered. I'm sorry about that. Um, so who do I want... Raz, would you like to be an alchemist? Okay. Alchemist. Um, I guess I'll have you be this one. Um, and then I'll just go with the gatherers already. So I'll go sky... And my 
old friend Bolt. Yeah, I I I haven't talked to him in a very long while, and I feel really bad about it. I I did wish him a Merry Christmas, um, but I haven't heard back from him, and obviously I'm a little bit worried. I just hope he's okay. Uh, so I think I already made claw already. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Hey, you know what? I do that sometimes too, Claus, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna just do all the gathering stuff, so this is... Yeah, they're all chops. Yeah, they're all chops, so just get all that chopping. Chop, chop, as they say. Wait. Stupid. I may I may be stupid. I may be stupid, guys. There we go. So yeah, um, at least in this game you can get all your gathering skills to level 10. Uh, I think it wasn't until the fourth game that the whole gathering process got, like, really, like, we got a massive overhaul. Uh, songs 10, recovery 5. So, I don't think the overlay is entirely accurate, but yeah, no, I have to fix it later. I already had a teams in mind, but things obviously kind of changed at last minute. Sorry guys, I'll fix some stuff later. <laughs> But I won't be doing this for a whole lot longer. I'm going to move over to Reseteer and see how well that goes. Um, Alright, so let's get back in. So yeah, with like whole Etrian Odyssey and like obviously starting with the first game in the series and not a whole lot of people know what's going on. Um, yeah, there's just some stuff like some like a, like a baby, you gotta find your footing and learn how to walk on your own. That's good. I'm really glad. Well, I found that Reset here at 60 FPS, uh, even the video wasn't all that bad. Like, usually if I look at a video player at 60 FPS, the player just kind of craps itself. But it didn't when I was doing Reset here and playing that back. And it was like 40, it was like a 42 minute recording, so... That's really cool. Um, so yeah, when you do chops, you kind of do that, and you just keep pressing A. Um, in the second game on, uh, you would have to be a little bit careful because um, there'd be some enemies that can ambush you. Um, in the third game, there's a system where um, you can find rarer items. Um, and, but you would also have a chance of getting ambushed. And with um, four, you have like a certain, like you can only do it once a day. Or I think if you have a skill, you can have a second chance of doing it. But yeah, you can only do it once and that's it. Yeah, uh, I don't have an overlay for that yet. I kind of feel like I jumped the gun on the EO1 overlay, but if the stream has been going as well as it has, then. Hey, Kino, Nito, um, that's nice. Um, so yeah, you can only, uh, gather, use your gathering skills a certain amount of times a day. Um, and you only have a certain amount of, uh, room in your inventory. Uh, so you have 60. And I kid you not, um, 
they do not have a distinction between key items and regular items, so all the key items you get would be in your friggin' list. And so it would take up room. Uh, it wasn't until later on that they would separate them so that you would hold as much items and weapons and whatnot as you can, which is nice. Yeah, I know, but it wasn't running bad, so that's good. <laughs> I think it was if I think if it was the other lappy or heck even the e machines, then then things would be really would be really bad. Um, but I'm glad that Lappy two has been doing rather well. I mean, obviously Lappy one wouldn't even like play half of the stuff that I've been playing on this thing, like friggin'. Oh goodness, Bloodstain. I would not have been able to play Bloodstain whatsoever. So that was fun. <laughs> Alright, so let's get all this. Sell. Can you fry eggs with your second one? I don't know. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to try that. I don't think so, though. <laughs> You know what? I didn't know that. I just kind of assumed that because we had like so much 3D modeling stuff going on that I probably would have had problems, but yeah. Alright, sorry. I just need a minty mint. A sugar free minty mint, in fact. I forgot what that does. And I believe third game on you have a way of like selling multiple items at once. Unfortunately, we just have to do it manually one at a time. <laughs> It gives you more TP. That's right. All right. Yeah, Tobes is likely going to stream at four unless something happens. So I'm just going to do a savey save. And then I'll do like a little off screen grinding of my alchemist and whatnot. And. Yeah, it's going to be fun, I'm sure. I'm, I hope you guys have had fun with this so far. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get that out of here. Get, get out of here. And now we're going to switch gears.